On January 3, 2018, Reverend Dr. Father Ambrose Pinto SJ passed away. He was the principal of the college, a social activist, a professor of political science, and a faithful Jesuit. This evening, we remember his love, passion for the poor, the Dalits, and the downtrodden. Father Ambrose's contribution to writing, to social advocacy, and his passion for educational reforms needs great appreciation. Father Ambrose touched many lives and inspired thousands of students and others. May I request you to kindly stand for a moment of silence as a mark of respect for Father Ambrose and for the many people in our Josephite family who lost their dear ones this academic year. Kindly be seated as we present the principal's report. Continuum to its success, St. Joseph's College once again proved its virtue this academic year as well. The college underwent the fourth cycle of NAC accreditation. 
The peer team visited the college on September 2017 and met all departments and programs of the college. The college is currently awarded 3.79 out of 4, the highest among all colleges in the country in the fourth cycle. A special word of thanks to Dr. Subhashini Muthukrishnan, who spearheaded the NAC visit and preparation. We also thank the following faculty members, Dr. Syed Wajit, Dr. Beren Lucas, Prof. Madhapa, Prof. Clement Sosa, Dr. Arun Thampan, Dr. Arul Mani, and Dr. Ronald Maskeranis. The college congratulates all the staff, students, alumni, maintenance staff, and well-wisher for this grand achievement. The late Dr. Ambrose Pinto SG, during his term of office as principal of the college, installed solar power panels. The college is one of the first in the country to have installed solar panels. The electricity produced is also shared with BESCOM. Recognizing this great step towards environmental protection, the government of Karnataka bestowed on the college the Power Award. The principal received the award from the Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka. St. Joseph College has signed official memorandums of understanding with Sunway College Malaysia, Seattle University, University of Washington and the University of Namur. The college is blessed and honored to have the gracious presence of the Father Superior General of the Society of Jesus to inaugurate the Magis Block, a multi-activity facility of the college. The block was inaugurated on 27th February 2018 in the presence of the Father Provincial, Father Rectors and host of priests and well-wishers. The college also inaugurated the third floor of the PG and the state-of-the-art Big Data Analytics AV Centre. The Student Council election was held on July 5, 2018. All students participated in this democratic process. Electronic voting machines were used. Aaron was elected President, Tejaswani was elected Vice President, Charles General Secretary, Mayuk Treasurer, Libin Joint Secretary and Mahima and Puneet were Cultural Secretaries. The annual alumni gathering met in the college on 10th December 2017. Captain Pradeep Arya was felicitated for his unique achievements and contributions to the government. The college also hosted the BJES Institution Day. Father General, in his address to all the Jesuit collaborates, emphasized on reconciliation. All retired staff of BJES institutions were facilitated for their years of service in the college. The campus ministry of the college facilitated spiritual enrichment throughout the year. Regular masses were conducted. Campus ministry took part in managing special events in the college. TEDx SJC Bengaluru Another major event conducted by the college was attended by different people from across the city. Republic Day and Independence Day celebrations were held in the college with great patriotism and respect. NSS and NCC along with various associations took active part in these events. The College Sports Day was held on 24th February 2018. The captain of the Indian Blind Cricket Team, Mr. Ajay Kumar Reddy, was the chief guest for the day. Placement is an integral part of college life. This academic year, few new organizations hired students from the college. 256 students appeared for job interviews. This year, the college had 71% success in placements. The office thanks all institutions who visited the college to hire our students. The Office of Public Relations this academic year networked and collaborated with many institutions for the welfare of the college. Some of the institutions are BBMP, Lawrence and Mayo, NDTV and international embassies to name a few. The PRO Professor Kiran Jeevan attended various events in the city and represented the college. 
the Office of Public Relations initiated the Josephite Ambassador Program. The Jesuit view of a higher education has never been a simplistic and one-sided one. It concerns all-round development with a special focus on critical praxis that engages students to yoke their academic excellence, their character development and their personal concern to the transformation of a society deeply disturbed by inequality and injustice. The outreach program draws its inspiration from the college's vision of forming women and men for others. It will provide students with a platform to explore and develop the art of critical thinking the activities carried out in the academic session 2017 to 2018 rural exposure camps traffic awareness cleanliness drives visit to charitable homes teaching in government schools rallies sapling plantation campaigns and waste management this academic year the college hosted some major events the visit of dr shri kumar hosted by the PG Chemical Society, Nirathon Run for Water, in which 1,200 students participated, Ashwin Maharaj Foundation is an organization engaged in alleviating distress faced by cancer patients through music therapy. Upholding the spirit of social responsibility, NSS took the initiative to clean places around college and under the double road bridge and spread awareness about environmental pollution. NSS organized the BMCDT Infosys Bone Marrow Registry on 15 September 2017 in Xavier Hall. Around 160 voluntarily donated blood NSS conducted the 10-day Rural Awareness Camp between 3rd November and 12th November 2017. It was held in Dora Tamanahali, Chikabalapur, district of Karnataka and was attended by 52 campers. Sindhu Dinesh, 3rd HEP NSS volunteer, attended India-Sri Lanka Youth Exchange Program. Human Rights Celebrations organized by NSS Avar College is a 10-day event held between 1st December to 10th December every year. The chief guest for the inauguration of human rights celebrations was Ms. Irom Sharmila, human rights activist from Manipur. The valedictory program was held on 10th December with Mr. Maraswamy, who is a member of the Karnataka State Commission for Protection of Child Rights, as the chief guest. The academic year 2017 to 18 turned out to be a very fruitful one for one Karnataka Armed Squadron NCC TP3. Three cadets attended All India Tal Sainik Camp 2017. CSUO Shruti Rajendra attended the Para Basic course held at Agra. CJUO Nimish Bharatwaj cleared the Basic Mountaineering course with Alpha Grading. The cadets of one Karnataka Armed Squadron NCC TP3 had observed the International Yoga Day that is the 21st of June by conducting yoga and various asanas were taught to the cadets of the troop. CJUO Al Toluji Saprio, CSM Tamaya, SGT Naksha V Kasar have taken part in the All India Tal Senek camp and made the college, the state and the directorate proud. The examinations were conducted smoothly and as per practice, the college also announced the results on time. Pratibha was held in the month of September and it was well appreciated. Visages 2018 was held on the 5th and 6th of March.
The department organized Datagram V2, an inter-college fest on big data analytics. They also hosted a workshop on application of machine learning on a large data set. 24 students out of 28 got placed in TCS and EY. Dr. Jayati Bhadra published two papers in leading international journals. The Department of Biotechnology conducted a workshop on R programming, active learning components and utilization. They also had special talks by LXI, Smith of Keck Graduate Institute, USA, Dr. Jeremy Brown of Newcastle University and Dr. Rachel from Covens, Florida. Some of the major departmental events conducted are a training on mushroom cultivation and a visit to Mazanto. Professor Madhapa and Dr. Susan visited Seattle University, USA to further collaboration. Professor Dibharti was awarded seed money grant from the college for a minor project. Professor Madhapa is doing a UGC minor project. All faculty members of the department have attended various conferences and presented papers. The Department of Botany conducted Bangalore Lake Summit on 6th March 2017. Many faculty members presented papers and attended conferences and seminars. The Botanical Society conducted five events. Dr. Vaishnavi obtained seed money from the BJES management for research. Sister Sagaya Mary was awarded PhD and she was guided by Dr. Divakar. The department hosted a workshop on academic-industry collaboration. The PEG Chemistry Alumni Meet was held on 13th January 2018. The department organized a talk on Is Nuclear Power Clean, Safe, Economically Competitive and Sustainable? by Professor Sri Kumar Banerjee, former Chairman, Atomic Commission of India. A total of 11 major publications were made by the faculty of the department of which the credit goes to Dr. Ronald Mascarenas and Dr. Michael Rajamati. Dr. Libby Thomas, Dr. Suhas and Dr. Sunita were awarded seed money for research by BJES Management. Mr. Arokya Anto was awarded PhD and he was guided by Dr. Michael Rajamati. Dr. Melvin Colasso visited the laboratory of Professor Johan Wouters, University of Namur, Belgium, for a period of two months for his postdoctoral work. The Department of Commerce hosted an international conference in collaboration with Sunway College and ISDC. The department also hosted a two day workshop on corporate genesis and a workshop on GST. A one-day research and business seminar was organized. Tarang 2017, the Interclass Fest was held on 20th and 21st July 2017. The department invited Dr. Giridhar, Dr. Vikas and Mr. Gaurav for three guest lectures. Professor Charles and Professor Mohammad Umer authored a book on income tax too for six semester BCom students. The Commerce Department have an MOU with Manakao Institute of Technology, New Zealand. Professor Cyril, Professor Charles, Professor Princey, Professor Padma, Professor Umer and Dr. Babu all published papers. The Department of Communication hosted MediaCon, Allura, poster competitions and gaming events. All the faculty members attended various workshops, conferences and presented papers. Professor Johnson Rajkumar's film, Fireflies, won the best documentary in Arts House Asia International Festival. Father Richard Ragos secured an associateship from the Indian Institute of Advanced Studies, Shimla. Faculty members of the department presented papers at various conferences and seminars. Faculty members conducted several seminars for their students, such as image processing, data mining and data protection. Several students brought great laurels to the department through their contributions in various forums.
the Department of Economics hosted a seminar on GST, Indian economy, and went on an industrial visit to Mangalore. Professor Clement D'Souza and Professor Keshav Murthy completed UGC minor research project. All members of the faculty in the course of the academic year presented papers and attended conferences across the country. Dr. Subhashini Muthukrishnan was the coordinator of IQAC and was instrumental in managing a very successful NAAC visit this year. Faculty from the English department have published several articles in UGC recognized journals and served as resource persons at diverse locations such as UGC refresher courses across South India at UTC and IASC. Professor Vijayata Kumar was shortlisted for the TFA Prize for Creative Writing and conducted a workshop at the National Conference Dalit Women Speak Out in Pune. Professor J.B. Baskaran successfully defended her PhD thesis at the English and Foreign Language University. Students from the department have presented 14 papers at national conferences held over the last semester. The department hosted its annual fest, Shock 2018, which was a grand success. The department hosted an electronic exhibition during the Tackle Fest, which was well appreciated. Many inter-class events were hosted by the department throughout the year. Dr. Godwin presented a paper at the National Conference in Tumkur University. The Department of Environmental Science this academic year conducted seed ball campaign, butterfly workshop and tree walk. They hosted a capacity building training on biodiversity and natural resource management. The department released a book, Garden Climber, in association with ECOEDU and screened the movie Kalinga King Cobra, attended by 500 people. The French department hosted its annual fest, Découvrir la France, which was a grand success. The department was able to raise Rs 9,700 for Humanitas. The French National Day celebration was held with great enthusiasm. Treffpunkt, the German Association, conducted three events this academic year. The department also collaborated with the French department and hosted Foreign Language Day. The Department of Hindi conducted a successful exhibition, Vigyapan Ki Dunya which was well appreciated. Students presented a paper on great writer Munshi Premchand's stories which was hosted by the Hindi Parishad. Students won special awards in the MCC and SJCC inter-college fests. The department hosted four literary events. They participated in the Food Fest and also participated in a national level essay writing competition. The Department of History organized an event called Prerana it was an inspirational afternoon program with children. Around 35 students from the Morning Glory Upper Primary School attended this event. Father Clarence de Souza interacted with the students and explained important aspects and monuments of our country. They released a magazine called Pendulum. Professor Anup Lal presented and published two papers on Indian industrial relations and women workers and innovations in management and sustainable business development strategies, relevance of Mahatma Gandhi and Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Dr. Purnima BN, Dr. Araya and Dr. Purnima S attended national conferences and presented papers. They hosted the celebration of Kannada Rajyotsava and Kannada Jatra. The department released a Kannada magazine. The Department of Library and Information hosted a St. Joseph's Book Affair on 6th and 7th December 2018. 23 publishing houses participated in this fair. Mr. Shivakumar TC published two papers in UGC refereed library journals. The library has ordered for a Dell server and a radio frequency identification technology. Professor Maria Ansi and Dr. K. Madhukar attended RBPT workshops. Dr. Stephen Titus, the HOD, and Professor John Bins organized a citywide STEM workshop. 
The department conducted talks by various personalities such as Dr. Y.K. Yajnik, Dr. Tulsi Srinivasan and Dr. Amit. The Maths Association conducted its inter-college fest Ad Infintium on 21st February. 18 colleges participated. The department is proud of their student Sebastian Thomas who won the Albertian Best Young Scientist Award. The Department of Physics hosted 18 events this academic year. To name a few, field visits to IISC, Lunar Eclipse Skywatch, Phoenix 2018, etc. Dr. C. A. Rodericks Maria Sahayaraj, Dr. Mohan A. and Dr. Laura Rita Govias were awarded PhDs. A hearty congratulations to them. Three of the department students cleared NET. The department conducts an ISRO certified course in space and rocket dynamics. Professor Joslyn Joes assisted more than 300 students to observe the spectacular super blue blood moon. Dr. Rabi gave a lecture on that occasion. The Department of Political Science signed an MOU with Bangalore University, NIS and Christ institutions to promote and engage academic interaction. Spectrum hosted three special lectures on Constitution, Karnataka Assembly elections and on national security. The department hosted a panel discussion on India and the US, mapping the trajectory. The forum hosted Constitution Day, the HD Dr. Sumaya highlighted the significance of the Constitution. All faculty in the department presented papers and attended various conferences. The department invited high-profile and excellent members from the field to speak at their various programs. The Department of Psychology co-hosted an international conference on play. They conducted an awareness program on suicide. Professor Subiksha Lakshmi and Professor Nisha cleared NET. Professor Nisha is collaborating a research project with Florida State University. The Sanskrit Student Association, Samskrita Tarangini, had its inauguration this August 2017. They had the distinguished presence of the visitor, Professor Mr. Rutger Kortenhorst, a well-known Sanskrit teacher and researcher from Dublin, Ireland. He spoke about the contributions of Sanskrit and its importance. The Department of Social Work hosted their third international conference with the University of North Carolina, Wilmington and the students of the department were also part of the organizing team of the Dr. B.R. Ambedkar International Conference hosted by the Government of Karnataka. The department presented its fifth social justice lecture with Mag Sai Sai Award winner Bezwara Wilson. Students attended rural and tribal camps and invested considerably to the people and the community. 32 students presented papers at various conferences. Professor Viola and Father Augustine cleared KSET and NET. Professor Akshay, the HOD, was awarded South Indian's 40 Most Inspirational Teachers Award by the Indian Express. Mr. Anand, HOD, presented a paper on comparative study on estimating parameters of generalized Pareto distribution. He also delivered lectures at BES and Carmel College. The Department of Sociology organized inter-class competitions, various guest lectures, they published two books on Paura Karmakas and on gender and work. They conducted their first international study tour to Sri Lanka. Professor Maria completed a UGC minor research project on street vendors. The department also conducted a study on socio-economic profile of auto drivers in Bangalore City. Tamil Sangam of the college organized Pongal celebrations and 200 students participated in this special event. The Department of Vocational Studies this year hosted two major events, Russia's National Short Film Festival coordinated by Professor Marudu and Manga, an animated fest coordinated by Professor Satish. 
Professor Vidisha presented a paper on rhetoric in Indian English news channels. The Department of Zoology hosted a one-day Ignatian lecture series with Professor M. Arun Magam and he spoke on Indian medicine, a case study. Faculty members presented papers at conferences and also published. The department conducted a talk on field work in wildlife biology. NSC members took part in BNP cyclothon and NSC members also attended a talk on Asian elephants. Mr. Robert Raj was awarded PhD. Congratulations to Nikhil Rao, Swati Divakar, Ashwinth Ji, Varsha N and Rachel for presenting at the 6th International Conference on Recent Trends in Life Sciences. The Microbiology Department hosted a one-day symposium on modern trends in infectious diseases and environmental health with University of Washington. The department invited Dr. Ravi Nair, HOD, Otolaryngology, HCG Hospital for the inauguration of Microcosm. The department organized study visits for both UG and PG students. Dr. Wajid, Dr. Vanita, Professor Jyoti, Dr. Beatrice, Professor Shalmidi and Professor Rai attended various conferences, seminars and workshops. Dr. Wajid visited Seattle University this academic year. The department is proud of its students who have secured internships in prestigious institutions in the city. Another academic year comes to an end. We thank God, the management, faculty, students, alumni, parents and well wishes for a successful academic year. May God bless us all.